Hallo an unsere Freunde im deutschsprachigen Raum. Es ist Journey to the Chateau Time. Bonjour à tous et bienvenue à Journey to the Chateau. And now, of course, to our English-speaking uh, viewers, welcome to Journey to the Chateau and yet another uh, interesting week, shall we say. <laughs> yeah, we're going to share with you some updates on what's going on with uh, sale, trying to sell our house. And we're also going to talk about uh, some ideas that we have for converting our vacherie or dairy barn into a sheet. Yes, there's that. So, update about uh, this house here in Woodstock, Illinois. Um, at the end of last week, we had six days of solid rain. It was just beautiful. And um, having a few more than two dogs, so <laughs> Oh, good Lord. Yeah, that, that's yeah. a lot of cleaning. Uh, yes, it was definitely a lot of vacuuming, mopping, mopping. Um, every day. And uh, we had one very astute viewer who just couldn't believe um, that this house takes more than three hours to clean for two people. Well, um, usually I don't or we don't respond to that, but we did because when we show this house it is, relatively speaking, spotless. And at least that's what we attempt to and it's uh, almost 6,000 square feet, so almost five, uh, 580 square meters. Yeah, there's a lot of vacuuming and cleaning and right. dusting and all that. So yes, it does take three and a half hours. Uh, one, um, and we had we had uh, quite a lot, we've had quite a lot of viewings. Yes, you know, and some days we had actually three viewings in one day. Yes, three in a row. Um, we have one offer that we are seriously considering, which is that's great, um, and. It's it has been quite a bit of a roller coaster, and we had people who stayed here for our our ten minutes, mm -hmm. um, sat in the living room for quite a while because our pillows were squished, so, <laughs> which is not a problem, but it's kind of interesting. And uh, then they come back with, oh, it's too much house, or it's you know all usually the 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 comments are all things that are kind of clear before you get here. Right, yeah, it has been kind of interesting because, uh, and I don't know if they just, uh, they just give feedback just for the sake of feedback and you know, without it being thoroughly thought through, but a lot of the feedback that we've gotten uh, was something that people didn't even need to come to the house to even provide that sort of feedback, you know, that the, the floor plan is, uh, the house is very spread out. Well, you know, it's a 6,000 foot ranch house. So yeah, it's a very spread out house, which, <laughs> you know, you would have been able to know that before you actually came here. So. But you know, it's, it's, uh, it's really interesting. And um, again, our uh, wonderful uh, manager there at our realtor's office said, yes, those, the feedback can sometimes be really frustrating. And it is, because it's, um, you know, when we sit here, you clean for, it's just say three hours, and then someone gives you a comment and you go, really? That, yeah. That's all you have to say? And, and <laughs> by the way, and by the way, because of suggestions, and also baking cookies before people arrive as well. Yeah, so. That's true, yes, and it's, um, most people don't eat them, so unfortunately I <laughs> we do. We get to it. <laughs> but, um, it's, it has been really, uh, in, in general, it has been actually a really good experience. Right. Um, we have not gotten a single negative comment on the house, not one. So that's pretty good. Um, so all, all of that is um, is great. But you know, for a for an eight a.m. showing in the morning, that's uh, <laughs> that means getting up really, really early to get right. this all done. Right. And the dog settled, so they need to be out. They need to get their exercise. Um, and then they go in their crates and no one has complained about the dogs. No. So apparently they behave well. 
Um, they don't get, they did not get that from me. That's all Stuart. <laughs> so that's just the update on that, right. and we keep you posted. Mm -hmm. To the south of the chateau is the courtyard for the chateau farm, with numerous outbuildings that were used for livestock and storage. The large barn and the vacherie, or cow barn, are located on the west end of this courtyard. This is for us uh, a very big project that we are thinking about planning. Um, besides cleaning this house and get, keeping it in order, it's pretty much all we can do right now. Uh, but it's a lot of fun um, to think about options and possibilities. We've gotten hundreds of comments about uh, ideas and what to think about. I love it. It's really, it's quite wonderful. So what you see here is on the left that um, slate roofed building. That's uh, the chapel from 1644. Um, and beyond that, you see the, uh, a wall, and that is the entire farmyard that belongs to our chateau. Um, on the right uh, is what they call the vacherie. Vacherie is, is a dairy barn. Right. Um, so it has, it, it's really substantial. The roof is uh, a story and a half tall, um, and it's, uh, where in, we were told that these were buildings were built in the 1800s, uh, where the cows were, where they calved, where, uh, but the, the bulls were usually uh, kept separately. And this is where the cows were milked, milked. every day. And right. this was never a um, farm where there was uh, industrial milking equipment. These were all milked by hand. Right. Um, and the interior is actually still completely intact, which is great. And that large barn door next to it, uh, where you can see the entire front. Um, that is the, the old garage, uh, where the big equipment was stored. Large, the large farm machinery, yes. Mm -hmm. And it actually has all these, these uh, tree trunks ab above the, um, the beams. Right. Uh, that's, a, that's a hayloft. So there was uh, a lot of um, hay for, for, for feed mm -hmm. and it's, it's really fascinating, the, it, those two buildings are so large. Um, unfortunately, the, the more space there is, the more ideas come to mind and the more we are uh, sketching and uh, looking at, at something at a floor plan, just an idea, and then it just gets folded up and put in the recycling because it's just, it's a great, some things are great ideas mm -hmm. and they um, are wonderful until one thinks about putting them into <laughs> practice. Reality. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. So that's, um, it, it's, there, there is, in front is this, this large, well, it's not that big wall. I mean, it's, it's a long wall and it has collapsed in, in certain areas. So that would be lime render repair, which we can do. Um, that is exciting. You can see we have a, a few trees that are slowly dying. Um, uh, we have taken down dying or dead trees here plenty, so that's that's easy. That's going to be fun. Yeah. We only have a couple of photos of the inside of the vacherie or the, the dairy barn. And uh, this is one of the photos that we have. And you can see um, it's a very large uh, open area. You can see the place where uh, those the up and down um, uh, vertical wood pieces are stanchions and that is where the cows uh, basically stuck their heads through there and there, there's a feeding trough there and then that's where they would be when they were milked. Right and it's again 1800s it's uh, very rough it's just lovely how rustic this is mm -hmm. uh, and we uh, already have decided uh, uh, that we will keep uh, basically everything we, we can that does not need to go for access for, for anything will stay and will be incorporated. Uh, on the left hand side you see windows, those are west facing, mm -hmm. uh, they're basically the opposite side of the farmyard and it has a um, we have a completely private patio right. and large. So and we were thinking about uh, most probably a six bedroom, six, five, six bathroom 
um, sheets that can sleep up to 20 people. Right. This is probably will be our our biggest sheet that will be available for people to rent. And we had talked about um, uh, being able to use it where maybe people didn't want to use the whole thing. Right. So uh, what we're planning on is, uh, and of course this is a big open uh, slate, so ba we can design and do anything we want to for the arrangement of the size of these rooms that we're doing in this building. So I think what we decided was that we were going to have, you know, a pretty large kitchen dining room area on the ground floor and uh, maybe a, a couple of bedrooms, I think, on, oh, yes. on the ground floor with uh, uh, maybe ensuite bathroom and then a, 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 a large bathroom, you know, for anyone to be able to use in there. But the, the idea is that, the, that we would also have a staircase here that would go to the upstairs loft area where we would develop that out to have additional bedrooms and bathrooms. And then we could actually, uh, if people only wanted to, if they didn't have a large group and they only wanted to rent a smaller space, they could just uh, use the ground floor of the jeet and then we basically just kind of lock up the, the upstairs. And then if somebody wants to, they can do the whole building and rent the whole building. Well, um, yes, and just piggyback on this. So the one or two bedrooms on the ground floor uh, would be for uh, handicapped accessibility right. and or senior citizens with this close. Uh, so it's thinking ahead. Um, the other option would be to build this out in a way that it has um, large pocket doors that are lockable. So, but uh, and and so we would be able to split it in the middle and lock it up. Right. But that would right. mean there are two kitchens, two staircases. Right. Uh, so it's just these are all just options. Right. And, and right now, because we already have the the farmhouse that we are going to divide up into two sheets with two kitchens, we're thinking that this might be better served as uh, just one large sheet that can be used for a large number of people who all want to stay together in one in one place. But early days. Right, very early days, <laughs> yeah. We, we might not do anything with this, I mean, who knows? But Years, it's, it's yeah. fun to think about it. It is. Yeah, and from the photos you can see, you know, these, these uh, farm buildings, they already had running water to them. We already know that. We, we know that uh, there was already electricity there. So uh, there's a lot of things that we don't need to worry about for utilities because they're already in place in most of these livestock buildings. Yep. When, when you look at this, this picture, so on the right side, first of all, the wall is a natural stone wall, which is we are, will uh, retain. Uh, needs to be clean, tuck pointed, and right. that will definitely stay as rustic as it is now. Mm -hmm. And there's this, for lack of a better word, there's most probably a term for it. Of course there is, but I don't know it. So we call it the feed rack where the grass or hay would be put in for the cows to, uh, or cows to eat. Um, after they're done nursing, of course. Um, that we ab absolutely will will leave there, that belongs there. Right. Uh, we, we are committed to keep as much of the charming and what was built in the in the 1800s uh, in, in place. Absolutely. So we um, had discussions with people who watched the vlog, who, um, who said, well, I hope you're not gonna make this into something horribly modern. And uh, the interesting thing is we did see, and of course it's, you know, there must be, there is something for, for every taste. Mm -hmm. um, we had always said that we, wa we will re retain whatever historical elements there are, right. uh, if possible. And we have seen uh, a couple of Chateau that we didn't even show, show you because uh, at some point, they might have had a roof collapse and were rebuilt, but mm -hmm. there is, they, they look on the interior uh, like any house that was built after 2010. Right. So uh, then why bother with, with, a store or with an old building? Right. Uh, but they, of course, there's a market for that, and that's a good thing, because right. if we would all like the same thing, God, good Lord, the, the world would be a very boring place. <laughs> we have a couple of photos that show the uh, loft area of the dairy barn. 
Uh, you can see how large this area is, and there is still hay in the hayloft, right? Um, yes, I mean, it's, it's basically a whole story and a half tall. Yeah. Um, one thing this photo shows really well is that even the farm buildings were very well maintained. So right. the, that big, the, the double beam there is not the so original new, beam. Newer beam, yeah. But it was, so it was always taken care of. Right. Uh, we know that we need to have, uh, and in this roof, uh, we have to have repairs done. Mm -hmm. But this is not a roof that needs to be completely replaced. So there, right. when there was an issue, um, the owners address that. It's a huge bonus that uh, now we have the one front wing. We know that that and we address that in a prior vlog that one side of that roof is way over 100 years old, the terracotta. Mm -hmm. uh, that we most probably have to replace the entire thing. Right. And right. Uh, see, looking at how large those roofs are um, with the la latest generation of solar panels, that are not necessarily chunky anymore. It basically looks exactly like uh, roof tiles, but in large sheets. Mm -hmm. um, the south side of the barnyard, which is facing away from us, uh, could become a, a, quite a large uh, solar panel. Solar panel roof. And that is one thing we're thinking about how to have warm water um, and partially heat the uh, the chateau uh, water heaters and the the sheets right so what you see here is the is the back and the the north side uh, uh, section of the vacherie and as you uh, can see on the right side there are a couple of sapling trees that uh will have to go have to um, go, yeah. and we uh, have had a, a mantra here for every tree that we had to take down, uh, we planted a new or two trees. Mm -hmm. So uh, the, the good thing for us was that we did not have to take down healthy trees. We had a very old uh, cherry tree, mm -hmm. which is not a fruit cherry. I mean, they have fruit there, like, but it's tiny. Right. Just it's, flowering. it's a wild cherry. Right. Uh, you can't even see the flowers. They're no, tiny too. Tiny. But they grow very tall. Mm -hmm. And we had one where event years ago, a storm ripped off a, a, a huge branch. Mm -hmm. I think, I don't know, 30, 40 feet up in the yeah. air. Yeah. And uh, a couple of years ago, we realized that there were carpenter ants. Those are ants that about about this big. They, um, they, they don't build like a carpenter, but they chew up wood like crazy. And so when you have that in a tree, you know the tree's not healthy. Right, and we know that because, you know, uh, we've had several actually that yeah. have had that problem. Because you start seeing uh, around the base of the tree, you basically see sawdust around the base of the tree where they've been eating at the tree. Yep, and so that tree was leaning mm -hmm. o towards or over our uh, master bedroom wing, and so that we, we don't take those those uh, decisions lightly. There was we, we were going back and forth and finally our right. friend Bob said, uh, you're crazy. One bad storm and that thing comes down. Right. And so that was a tree we, we took down and uh, we planted a river beach birch for that. Uh -huh. We planted a couple of um, be and, beaches. And a beach tree, yeah. Um, we are cultivating um, hickory trees, not young oak right. trees. So we're kind of reforesting what we have here. We will do the same in France because right. um, we love trees. But that part that you see there with these smaller trees, that will be a, a large patio right. that will have a wall. And so that will be completely private for the people who stay there. And the windows that we already have in uh, that side of the building can be turned into large glass doors. Right. So, they, again, lots of time, lots, lots of, of ideas. thoughts. Right. <laughs> Everything can change, who knows? <laughs> Most probably will, but <laughs> at least it's a lot of fun. Now, the one thing that this house um, doesn't have yet is uh, a fireplace. So, it will definitely have to have a fireplace. Right. Um, but that's um, nothing that will be started in the next two weeks, right. just saying. <laughs>
right? Right. So one thing I was uh, thinking about planning a little bit. So when one looks at the dairy barn uh, or vacherie, that um, coming from from a city in Germany, um, that would be basically the the space that this uh, takes up is about what three to four row houses would be in Hamburg. So it is actually, it's, it's, I, I know this is hard to see the scale, um, but th that's how large this is. Right. So, and the garage, uh, or the garage, the, the barn, sorry, um, the garage is further that way. Um, <laughs> uh, it's even larger because it's so much wider and even taller. So it's, those are just really, really big spaces. And they, they in, the, in the photos, I, I uh, sometimes forget how large they really are. Mm -hmm. So it's a lot of space to, to play with, but it's also a lot of space that needs to be maintained and cleaned. <laughs> and so um, sometimes that gets a bit... Um, cleaning all of this uh, and then thinking about having about three times as much space, it's going to be a lot of good good workouts. So as we said, our, our vlogs are not going to be quite as extensive as they have been, and but they will be in the future. Mm. Uh, we keep you posted. Thank you for watching Journey to the Chateau. Bon See you next time. time. Bye. If you enjoyed this video, please use the like feature to let us know. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our Journey to the Chateau YouTube channel if you would like to see more. Once you've subscribed, you can tap the notification bell in order to ring it, which will allow you to receive all notifications from our channel. Thank you.